Well, if you have a gun lying around your house and you don't use it or you just want to get rid of it, here's your chance. There will be a gun buyback event in Toledo in a few weeks. That's where you can trade in your gun for a gas gift card. Kaylee Marantech is joining us live in studio with more on this program tonight. And this isn't the first time the city has done this. No, Jeff, it isn't. It's not the first time the city's done this, but there's been a while since there was one in Toledo. Chief George Crawl told me simply it's to help have fewer unnecessary guns in our community. $50 bill for the handgun. Thank you very much, sir. That was in 2013 when Toledo hosted a gun buyback event, giving people money for guns. Now, nearly a decade later, the city is looking to up the ante, offering gas gift cards, $100 for a handgun, $200 for shotguns and rifles, and $250 for automatics. Any gun can kill you regardless whether it's a handgun, a shotgun, a rifle, whatever the case may be, but we want to make sure that we're putting a more incentive out there to get more more dangerous weapons off of the street. But where is the money coming from? It's not taxpayer money, but instead coming from the Lucas County Prosecutor's Office. And secure convictions, a portion of that money goes to the prosecutor's office, a portion comes to us um, and any other department that may be involved in the arrest and they're using the money to fund these cards through their asset forfeiture. Chief George Crawl says they decided to bring the event back hoping to get more guns out of the community in an effort to reduce gun violence, even if it's just a few weapons. When we make arrests, and honestly, statistically, and, and if you look at academic papers, they, they're not very successful. It's not like we're going to get all kinds of heavy-duty firearms off of our street, but anything that we can do as, as an administration to get guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them, I'm all for. Chief Crawl says there will be no questions asked and won't be asking for IDs. It's planned for September 10th at the Frederick Douglass Center, and we have more information on our website. Reporting in studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.